spotted again at a fave vegan restaurant. OMG. Yeah, we're going to Beyonce's favorite vegan restaurant. Crossroads. Actually, scratch that. It's her favorite restaurant. Crossroads. Point blank, she's obsessed with this place. I have to be honest, there's only been two times where she's been photo photographed outside of Crossroads in West Hollywood. And it was 10 years ago. And it's not just Beyonce's favorite restaurant. It's also Katy Perry's, Lizzo's, Tobey Maguire's, and probably Billie Eilish's. She's vegan, so I'm just assuming she likes it. The person who created it is the foremost chef of Oprah. I trust her taste in anything. Why? She's that girl. <laughs> With all that being said, we know this is Beyonce's favorite restaurant, but will the most corn-fed hillbillies from Nebraska like it? That's the question we're trying to answer today. Yeah. Crossroads. I know we've already made this place sound so fancy, but I wasn't expecting it to be this fancy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a tablecloth and everything. <laughs> like, that just is a whole different level. <laughs> I felt like I was experiencing... A bougie environment. Just had a very cozy, fancy vibe. Just in case people aren't aware of how notable this restaurant is, right when you walk in, they have a bunch of magazines and stuff. Just so you know, like, oh, I'm like, this is a, a lot of people care about this, you know? I was hoping an Illuminati person would recruit us. But unfortunately, I will spoil it. No one did. I officially knew we were in a bougie restaurant when they asked, do you want filtered water or do you want bottled water or do you want sparkling water? They asked something along those lines. And we were like, listen, we're from Nebraska. Like, what's just the regular water? They said, usually the country people get filtered water. So we got that. I told Jacob, um, when you're at a fancy restaurant, you always put the napkin on your lap. <laughs> so we both did that. This place does give you Diet Coke from the can, which I'm assuming is a fancy thing. I actually was expecting a bottle, I'm not gonna lie. Like the glass bottle? Yeah, but I was down for a can, but I just know if Beyonce came, they would give her a bottle, but that's okay. We tried our best to fit in with everyone. So you have like two million in sales this year, right? Yeah, for the vacation home in St. Bart's. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think we should become business partners then. Let's do it. This is the first entree. It's actually an appetizer, but um, chili cheese fries. I just need to do a little tidbit about how I honestly didn't expect the menu. When I pictured this celebrity vegan restaurant, I was picturing them to have like sweet potato casserole. Not that that's bad. I just pictured it to be more of like, oh, I'm eating clean. Whereas this is like something that you get from a fair. I guess the vibe of the restaurant is vegan comfort food, like vegan cheat meals in a way. Cause like chili cheese, jalapeno fries, like that is, that's amazing. When I saw that, I, I think I became what? Same. I'm using a fork. Wait, is that not what you were gonna do? I was gonna use my finger, but uh, I'm using a fork actually looks better. It's so good. I do have to say, since this was like a, a hot spot or whatever, I was kind of scared filming because I was like, are they going to like ban us forever? But they didn't and they let us film, which was nice. Yeah, they saw us filming a couple times and they were like, all right. Professional Yelp reviewers, or they want to document it all for their review. I, they don't, I don't know what they thought, but they seemed okay with it. It's snatching my wig. Yeah, it's 100% a moment. But nonetheless, let's just get on to what you guys actually want to know. These cheese fries were like, I know they're Beyonce of food, but they're also Lucas and Jacob of food. Oh, did you really have to do that to me? <laughs> it, it was like deep pandy. It was good. If I had these chili cheese fries and no one told me they were vegan, I wouldn't know. This little sausage somehow just tastes like actual sausage or beef or whatever it was. It all just was so good. The cheese, the jalapenos, it was just, it was amazing. Yeah, I have no idea if this was like impossible beef, but I'm just gonna assume like the Oprah's formal chef like has his own recipe, but like, yes, you could say the cheese and it tastes like cheese, but it didn't even matter because it was so delicious. Jacob tried the cheese on its own and reported it didn't taste like cheese and then I also did and I was like oh yeah it doesn't really taste like cheese but somehow when you're eating it all together it tastes like cheese. You know? Yeah witchcraft. I was licking everything clean but then Lucas said that's embarrassing please don't do that around me at Beyonce's favorite restaurant so I stopped. 
to be polite. How does Ray go to places like this? Behave. <laughs> <laughs> what table do you think she picks? Because you know, when she gets there, like they would, even if someone's sitting down at a table she wants, they'd say, get up. <laughs> you get pulled by your hair. Get up. Beyonce's here and you have to move and they throw all your food to the other table. I forgot. I didn't think about that. They probably would literally like get a flamethrower and flamethrower you out there. I, I know. For our next entree, we got the mac and cheese with shiitake bacon. Is that how you say that, by the way? Yeah. What is shiitake? A type of mushroom. Shiitake mushrooms. You know your mushrooms. Uh-huh. I was excited to try this macaroni because I feel like macaroni is one of those things that veganism never gets right. They can't replicate the cheese. Yeah, it's always, it's a hard one to tackle. So I wanted to see if, how this restaurant would do it. I was just so curious as to what it tasted like. Before we could munch on the mac and cheese, we had to perfectly separate it in half and we didn't have a scale. I, I had it on the list of things to bring, but I forgot to. So I just used my little hand and tried to guess. I don't know why I called my hands little. I'm not like trying to make it seem like I'm so petite or like I have a... Yeah, next time we go out to eat together and share things, I actually do want to bring a food scale. We have to be making sure these portions are the same so no one's getting scammed. <laughs> <laughs> mac and cheese, absolutely delicious. One could argue on if it actually tasted like mac and cheese. It more tasted like Alfredo to me, but you know what? I, it was just so good. Like it tasted enough like mac and cheese to... To make me happy. Yeah, it didn't taste like craft macaroni. It tasted more like if you have a non-vegan macaroni from a fancy place. You know how they use mm. that white sauce? I don't know if I'm exaggerating just because Beyonce likes this place, but I think <laughs> this is my favorite vegan macaroni ever. It was just another level. <laughs> <laughs> the shiitake bacon, I did have a few of them and I was like, oh, this is good. But then I was like, I stopped eating the bacon because sometimes mushrooms gross me out. But. So I ate all your mushrooms because although I knew it was mushroom, I was like, they actually did a good job making this taste like bacon. And mushrooms, aren't they so good for you? Like, there's so many benefits. That's what Gwyneth Paltrow said a few weeks ago. If you Google, she's been here. That's going to form the opinions I say throughout this video. <gasps> she did oh. go to a party at Crossroads once. Ooh, a party? Someone threw a party here? <laughs> party at Crossroads? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the inside didn't really have party vibes, but... <laughs> Our third entree was the Sicilian Supreme deep dish pizza. And listen, usually I'm a thin crust type of bitch. I don't like the thick pizzas. But something about this one was so good. It tasted like high V breakfast pizza. If you know, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the pizza was really good. Something interesting about it was the sauce was on top. It wasn't on the bottom. Did you notice that there was no sauce on the pizza except on the top? And there wasn't really any cheese, right? Or like minimal. You could taste cheese, but it wasn't like... You know how some pizzas like it's so stretchy Yeah, usually shit. like cheese covers the whole thing. Oh, so that's what I was tasting Sicilian sauce. What even does that mean? <laughs> I don't actually know, but. And um, the little sausage pieces on it, I was like, this tastes so much like real sausage. I ate one separately. I took it off the pizza and I was like, oh, it doesn't taste like sausage. But it was the same thing with the fries. Eating it all together, it tastes just like the real thing. Okay. Yeah, that's for sure a hack for veganism is like, adding a bunch of shit together so then you can't actually taste each ingredient. Just like with everything that we've had, it's kind of like, oh, I can't even tell it's vegan. It's like, it's slapping me so hard it hurts. But in a good way? <laughs> oh yeah, I just mean like it's a, it's like slap, it's like slaps. I feel like this was Jay-Z's <laughs> go-to. Oh yeah, because Jay-Z also went. I just don't think Beyonce would have gotten the pizza though. I don't yeah. even know what I mean, but I just feel like she wouldn't, she'd be like, oh, why would I get pizza at Crossroads? Like she would get something more like a bowl or something. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. I can't picture her getting any of the stuff we got. Like I always just pictured her eating beans, but does she not eat beans? Yeah, I don't know. I want dissolve. Same. We were done with the three entrees. It was time for dessert, and I noticed that Lucas's side is way dirtier than mine. Am I just a little clean? You know, a guy that understands, like, okay, like, you just gotta be clean, and like, but you were just raised in a bound house, it looks like. I know it is weird, because I've, people have commented this about me before when I've gone out to eat. Said, like, where you're sitting is so dirty. I think that might be one of my blind spots, because I don't view myself as a dirty person, but time and time again, I found that I find out I am. But that's why they need to have these white cloths on there. Because dirty people like me dirty everything. There was a knife under the table. I just want to let you guys know that. Take what you want for what 
that. It wasn't one of our nights. We didn't touch it because we didn't know if it was going to be a part of a future crime scene. When someone got their legs chopped off there last night and like they don't know who did it yet and then they find out, oh my god, the knife's under the table and has fingerprints. And then it traces back to our fingerprints and we're, they think we're the one who chopped someone's leg off. Yeah, that's I literally explained my thoughts exactly. Thanks yeah. for that. Yeah. So just just a little word of advice. If you ever see a knife under a table at a restaurant, leave it, don't mention it, and walk out. The brownie sundae came, which has vanilla ice cream, fudge sauce, <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> and coconut whip brandy cherries. Are them in there covered in brandy? Oh. I gotta say, this is a flop. Oh okay, yeah, you were like a big hater. So like, I wanna hear more about your thoughts. Yeah, it just, none of it was really that good. Actually, the first bite I took, I thought this is good, but then I started tasting this weird coffee taste and I was like, ugh. And also, I don't even like coconut. And I think the brownie was all made out of coconut. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, the brownie was like, uh, coconut was like, oh, I love coconut. And then I thought the ice cream was coconut, but it wasn't. I don't know what milk the ice cream was made out of, but the ice cream wasn't that good. But yeah, I mean, I would still rate the sundae like a five out of 10. Yeah, I give it a three out of 10, but it was the only miss for me. Ice cream boy, ice cream boy. I am the ice cream boy. Lucas filmed me washing my hands and blow drying my hands in the bathroom because um, I just wanted a video of me in the Beyonce bathroom. This came to a grand total of $79.98 and plus whatever tip I gave. My ranking is chili cheese fries first, second of all, mac and cheese, third of all, pizza, and last, the brownie sundae. My first would be the pizza, my second would be the chili cheese fries, third macaroni, fourth, but I'd put it down to like 15, even though we didn't have 15 items, the brownie Sunday. Beyonce, if you're watching, um, we're down to go to Crossroads with you. Well, actually, you probably don't want to hang out with us if we're being honest, because we sound like creeps throughout this whole video. I probably would go to Crossroads again. Um, goodbye, Z's. Bye.